I'm Representative Matt Erpelding, and today I'm the face of America. Idahoans are extraordinarily independent people who often uh, are here because they love the outdoors. They love hunting, fishing, uh, climbing, rafting, just being outside. And in general, uh, we have a lot of rural communities that are largely agrarian, so there's a lot of agriculture in Idaho, but we have an incredible booming city like the city of Boise, which consistently lands on people's top five lists because it is a really amazing place. And just one quick example is from my house, I can go north four blocks and hit over 100 miles of trail, or I can go south 10 blocks and be at the Capitol and ready for work. I'm the House Minority Leader in the Idaho House of Representatives and when I'm not in the legislature I'm doing one of three things. I own a mountaineering and rock climbing guide service so I'm either climbing, uh, I'm either teaching at Boise State in the leadership development program or I'm taking care of my 15 month old daughter Louise. The two most pressing issues in Idaho right now that we work on constantly is number one, uh, the voters just passed a Medicaid ballot initiative that is Medicaid expansion that's associated with the Affordable Care Act. And now the legislature has to implement that policy. And the reason that that is a um, hotbed for us is because we have refused to expand Medicaid since 2012. And the legislature continued to refuse Medicaid, but the voters voted for it at over 60%. And so now we are trying to implement it while there are still substantial pockets of resistance inside of the legislature. Folks who want to put very expensive work requirements, they want to put drug testing, or if it was up to them, they would repeal it. They would repeal what the voters did. So our most pressing issue right now is ensuring that we get Medicaid expansion in Idaho and in the hands of 91,000 Idahoans so that they can get healthier. And then the second one is Idaho is renowned for underfunding our education system. We, have, we are generally between 47th and 49th in the nation in per, per pupil expenditures. And we're also at the bottom of the pile, so we're down in the mid 40s for go on rates to higher education. The problem with that is, is that our economy is changing so quickly and technology is coming out so quickly that we are having trouble getting kids going to go from high school to higher ed to be prepared for a um, changing global economic uh, environment. We have an influx of a lot of people coming, but those young people that go to college in Idaho, after they're done with college, they often move away. And they move away for a host of reasons. They don't feel that our K-12 system is the quality that it should be, and they feel that the jobs that are available to them are limited. People in Idaho have weapons. They have firearms. There are a lot of hunters here. There are people who have weapons for self-defense. Idaho is a state that has uh, really created an environment where people can own firearms and should own firearms. It's their right. Um, where I land on the issue is I have no problem with firearms, um, but I do think that there should be a little bit more stringent background checks on folks who are trying to purchase firearms. Uh, I think that that's important. I also think that convicted domestic violence abusers and other uh, sex offenders and people like that um, should have their constitutional right uh, removed, which is the case in most states and many criminals in Idaho um, after they've committed the crime and after they've served the time are no longer able to have firearms. Um, and those, those laws are important to me. Um, I also think increasing gun safety laws and uh, things that will help educate the next generation on the dangers of firearms I think is important. If a New Yorker comes here, they're going to want to move here, particularly if they come from New York City and they come to Boise, Idaho. Um, there is diversity in Boise, there is outdoor recreation, and the reality is uh, I've only been to New York City once. I thought it was amazing, but the only thing that overwhelmed me was I didn't feel like there was regular access to wide open space. The wide open space that's available in Idaho for some reason is calming to people. It's beautiful, the scenery here is great, the people are great. And this is an emerging economy. A lot of cities that have already built up would be a more um, aging economy, and this is an emerging economy with young people ready to do work.